you know, different things like that to make sure that you're really carrying out and accomplishing whatever family goal that you that you have set. Okay. Um, academically, with you guys, I say that you can use um, instead of you know doing work slash profession or professional for your goal area for what for whatever your uh, for whatever you want to get your get your degree in. You can have an accountability partner for somebody that you guys go to school that you go to school with, where you guys both hold each other accountable because you might have the same major. See what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. So now you guys can start holding each other accountable and saying, "Hey, did you take such and such class? Did you take such and such class? We got to make sure that we sign up for those classes so that we can get our degree and so that we can stay on task and make sure that we graduate when we're supposed to graduate." Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're gonna have so so you're not always gonna share your goals with the exact same people every single time. You may share different goals with different people so that those different people can help hold you accountable in, accomplish, in accomplishing those goals. Okay? Um, make sure that you guys have dates of completion for the goals. Um, balance. And then the final thing is just make sure that you guys put the goals after you guys complete them. Put them in a place where you guys can see them. Make sure that you have them located where you can see them on a regular basis, especially the short-term goals. Okay. Short-term goals are the stuff that's a month or less. So you want to remind yourself on a regular basis of what it is that you need to do in the next 30 days Okay, to make sure that you guys do actually accomplish your long-term goals in the end. Your uh, little goals thing that you said you keep with you, mm -hmm. is that, does that have short and long term goals on it? Just short. Just your short. Just for the month, yeah. Oh, just for the month, I don't mm -hmm. know. Just curious. Yeah, <laughs> just for the month. Are some of them going to be to carry over to the next month? Yes. Like to repeat the month? Yep. Even though you accomplished that month. Yep. 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 Being a good father. Yep. Being a good son would be a. Yes. Family. Yes. Being a good son. Okay, anybody got any questions? No? All right. So that's that. Um, did, did, did that make sense? The goal setting stuff that we talked about today? Anybody feel as if they don't really need to set goals? I mean, and, and it's, I'm not going to like, you know, if you guys really don't feel like you need to set them, it's okay. Some people don't set goals and they do just fine. But by and large, you know, you get the, most people, especially people that are really successful, they set goals on a regular basis. That's the first time. So it seems like it's that either you're getting by or you set your goals and you're successful. Absolutely. I like that. Um, similar to getting by, one of the things that I think is, you know, that a lot of people do. And I think that you guys, if you guys really can understand this concept, it'll really help you out through life. You can either go through life existing, or you can go through life living. You can either really live, or you can exist. When you just exist, we talked about it a little bit last week. You can either be a pond, or you can be a river. Okay? What we talked about last week was a, a river has life. It's constantly flowing. And it's just constantly moving and constantly working. And there's life in a river. A pond just exists. It's just a body of water. It's just a dead body of water that just is lifeless. Sure. Just, just there. It just, it's just existing. <clears throat> so you can either go through life existing or you guys can go through life living and really, you know, being vibrant. Okay? And, and so... Um, The goal is for you guys to actually um, not just exist. You guys want to be. You guys want to do more than just exist. Okay. So um, on a scale, everything is always. We always end the same, fellas. Scale one to ten. Um, and then the last thing is what, 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 you, what, what you will take with you. What was it that you learned today? Or that you got today that you were able to take with you and apply. Um, outside of you. Okay. So let's start in the middle. Let's start in the middle. And what's your name again? 
can't remember his name, Brian. Is it Brian? Is it uh, Brian? Brian. Brian. Yeah. All right, Brian. It says Brian. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna say it. That's like that's like you calling me Daniel, right? In Spanish, right? Because how do you say Daniel in Spanish? Daniel. Daniel. That sounds like a woman's name to me, right? No. <laughs> in English, it sounds like a woman's name. So I'm not gonna call you Brian because that's not how you say your name. I'm gonna call you. How do you say it again? Brian. Brian. I'm gonna call you Brian. So, Brian, scale of one to ten, and what you your takeaway? Give you a nine. Okay. I'll start like mapping out my goals and stuff. I'm achieve faster. Cool. Thank you, sir. What about you, sir? I'll say a uh, ten. Ten? Because um, goal setting can like help you a lot to like to be somewhere in your life. And you know, like to uh, accomplish things. Okay. And then you have to be like real focus of what you want in life so you can accomplish things. Absolutely. And goals like um short term goals like help you to stay focused. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.
it'll be helpful for you to be really exact, um, re really precise, and, and and to have that. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. And so, so yeah, you're right. You you don't um, how do, how do you say it? Um, you don't have to, but you what? How 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 do you say that? Necessary is what? Helpful, helpful but not necessary. Helpful, helpful but not necessary. So, but so I hope that helps. Johnny. Oh, um, I would say it's seven. Seven, eight, seven, eight, uh, seventy-eight. Hey, that's much, much more over ten. I'll take the seventy-eight. Let's not, let's not get cute. Really. <laughs> All right, I'll um, be carried away. My dad is always trying to get me to like the goal same things that you can say. Uh -huh. uh, I don't I don't know. Like I'd always say like yeah I'm gonna do it. I never never really done it. Like my dad's always been doing it for himself. And I would Your dad writes goals? Yeah, okay. I would, like for everything. I would claim him to be a successful person. Okay. But it's not like the kind of thing I want to be doing I guess. Okay. okay. Um any particular reason why? Well, like when I see my dad doing stuff, like he's always, he always has to be busy. And he's always like, if he comes home, like from work, like he'll be working out in the backyard, like constructing something, helping out. But like it's, he's just like a workaholic, I would say. So, I don't know, he want to be put in that position. His, um, like he finds happiness in doing work. You know, We'll talk about that later, um, whenever you have a chance, because we can get into like a long discussion about that. Um, you don't have to write out a bunch of stuff to keep yourself busy. And the other thing is, um, did you have that conversation that I had with myself when I was your age, and I was like, I am not going to be like my dad. Yeah. I had that conversation. And you know now what? I'm just like my dad. You can, you, can, you can run as much as you want, but in mo most most of the time, if your dad is a good dude, and he's a good dad, and he's a good husband, there's nothing wrong with being like your dad. As much as he probably drives you nuts and gets on your nerves. My dad drove me nuts and he got on my nerves. But he's a good dude. And I, people don't have anything bad to say about my father. And I'm, I'm probably just like him. And I even find myself quoting him and saying some of the stuff that he used to say. And I used to be like, my dad is such a dork. And now, dork. guess what people say? And guess what people say about me? You are such a dork. Because I sound just like my dad. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing, man. If your dad's a good dude, man, there's nothing wrong with that. You know? But if you, if you feel like there's some changes that you need to make and you don't want to be like your father in some ways, then you do that too. So, but there's nothing wrong with it. But like I said, I had that talk to myself. I don't want to be like my dad. Nothing like my dad. And I'm just like him. So, since we only have one person in the back, <clears throat> I'll give it an eight. Okay, and the eight. takeaway would be how to get done what I have to do instead of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. like, do what I have to instead of doing what I want to. Mm -hmm. Priority. Got to prioritize. All right, good. Um, I give it an eight. And it is further installed beliefs and things that I've learned before. I think I've learned such as my mom. My mom would beat this up. She loves this stuff. Does she? What does she do? She's a mom. She works. She's like a secretary for a um, uh, construction business. Okay. And then she does that. Okay. Kind of a Four kids. Who's the oldest? You? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would give it a nine. Okay. Nine and ninety-five. So I got a seventy-eight and ninety-five. All right, and then um, I'll take out of this argument. Argument. <laughs> That it's like it's to most people it's important to write down goals and for me it's gonna be important also to write down goals. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna start writing down most of my goals now. Okay. And I'm not I'm actually gonna like fall through because most goals I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll do that but I don't so I'm actually starting to
Is there anything that you think can help you to make sure that you accomplish the goals that you write out? Just so you keep out of schedule. Okay. Good. Good job. All right. Thank you, sir. Are you attending? Because I was like, I'm going to take some time in this class. I'm happy to give him 10 last time. I did. Give him 10 every week. I don't think so. You did? You did? You gave him 10 every week? Every week, definitely. Except for the very first month. Uh, I don't know. Because I didn't know. But you learn something. All right. Anyway, so. Yeah, anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, I have goals, but uh, this helped me realize that I don't have them. You know, I have them like written down in a binder. You know, the day of completion, everything up there, and up until I, I don't see them every day. Okay. They're just kind of in a binder. Okay. So I don't, I don't think about them every day. So. Do you, how often do you look at them? Um, every time I sell knives to customers. Okay. I share it with them. So. Okay. Or if I go to like a team meeting for like with my manager, I share it. Okay. So are they just goals just for that? No, it's everything in select. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Cool. Thank you. You want to buy some that? Alright, give it a ninth. Okay. And, uh, Why not? Why a ninth? That's what I choose to give it. Why? Did you choose that? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. And uh, I'm like, I'm like a little anxious now to go back. Like I haven't looked at the goals that I ran down for like a what? Like, like a year. Like a year. Okay. Like I have them. I even know where they are. I have this. I have like my important documents thing where I keep all my important shit, like my vehicle title and stuff like that. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> and I just saw it the other day, like flipping through. Now, before you saw it the other day, did you know where it was? Yeah, I knew it was in there. Okay. All right. I mean, I knew it was there. <laughs> But uh, it's like it's not very detailed. Uh, it's, there's some parts of aspects of it where it's more detailed than others, just for that better idea of where I wanted to go and how to get there with the short-term goals. Like they're mostly more long-term goals, and they don't have like the short-term goals. They kind of between so now and then to yep. get there. Yep. And uh, why did you have short-term goals? Because at the time I didn't know what I needed to do. But I, I'm a little anxious to. Uh, to go do that and look back at it and to like fill it out now or how it's changed or what I have completely kind of completely as far as the short term goals and everything. Okay, so I'm not gonna say basic At saying. the end of the day, fellas, it's about taking that taking this stuff and incorporating this stuff into your team goals. And all of that stuff should be incorporated together so that you guys can accomplish what you want to accomplish, not only individually, but also as a team. More than anything, I really want you guys to take away the stuff that we talked about during the first hour because that was really important for me. Um, it's for you guys to really be able to come together um, as a team. Because the more that you guys can come together as a team, the better you guys will be um, individually as well. Okay? Because what you'll do is you'll set a, set a much higher standard for yourself personally so that you guys can help each other get to where you want to get to as a team. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, fellas. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for your time. See you guys next Tuesday. I'll find out from your coach um, when we'll meet on Friday. I think like I think Friday will be the best day, but he may want us like we are like struggling with some stupid easy shit that no one is doing for some reason. I don't understand it. Well, actually, all the two. But happy we're going to be running. Happy birthday, man. On the twenty-seventh. I'll better remember. What's the new day of the 27th? Uh, well, I don't know. Happy birthday to this you guy. You know, it's Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Your birthday is on the 25th? Is it really? What do you got? I'm calling you. Wednesday night. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, Thursday. I'm calling you. I'm calling you Thursday morning. No, Thursday morning at midnight. Oh, <laughs> you. No, Thursday morning at midnight. You're an idiot. That would be Friday morning. That would be Friday morning. Be Friday morning. We work Thursday night at 10 p.m. to Friday morning at 12 a.m. How old will you be? 19? You guys are only two days apart? Yeah. Were you born in the same hospital also? No. I don't know. Memorial? I don't know. I was going to go. You can have a great Thanksgiving. Oh,
that wanted to go over there and train, he told him, he said, I, I might not be able to train this kid until January. He said, because I'm getting, you know, Devontae ready for the for the, uh, for the workout in San Antonio. So that, that workout takes place in San Antonio when it's January. The, I think the game is the eighth. He's not playing the game, though. I think the game is the eighth of it's on a Saturday. So he, they'll be there, like, Wednesday through Friday. Either Wednesday through Friday or, like, um, Tuesday through Friday, I can't remember. So that's, you know, until he gets, you know, gets done with that, that's, you know, what he's going to be, you know, spending most of his time doing is getting his time ready for that. So he's got, you know, like I said, I'll talk to him myself, but in terms of, you know, being able to tell you if you will be able to do it that soon or do it, you know, uh, next week, um, you know, that's something that he'll have to, you know, let you know if he'll be able to do it. Thank you very much for everything. Man. You're welcome. No problem. No problem. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Thanksgiving. See you. Thank you. Okay. Okay.